Well, who amongst us, who are gardeners, doesn't like to see this? All kinds of tomatoes growing on a wonderful tomato vine. Sometimes they run into a few little problems early in the season, and as we'll pan in on this, we'll start to see that shoulder is starting to stretch a little bit. All kinds of little things to see. But realize there are ways to help some of these particular problems. And we at Garden Vigor like to help. My name's Dan Coffin. I'm a certified professional agronomist and owner of Garden Vigor. And I've spent my life out in the field helping people understand what these interactions are and how to fix some of those problems. And oftentimes, many of these things are environmental and nutritional in their nature. Understanding how soils and plants work together in that nutritional base will help fix problems like you're seeing here. As we look closer at the problem, you start to see a little bit of edging on the shoulders of these plants. And oftentimes, that's an early sign of things like low calcium, some other problems. Problems such as this could be solved with a product called Sulfacal, Sulfacal being gypsum or calcium sulfate. When you put extra calcium into that soil system, that plant can pick it up and have plenty of calcium available at a later time. Another problem we see on this particular plant is as we pan in on it, we see the leaves are spotted. Very spotted. And if you actually take this into a laboratory and examine it, you'll find that actually the culprit is a bacteria. There are two major bacteria, Pseudomonas and Xanthomonas, that attack plants. Tomato plants especially, there are several other plants that it attacks, but it, it, it's a matter of keeping the plants bacterial free. How do you keep bacteria from gaining that opportunity on your plant? Well obviously it comes from splashing off of the ground. Sometimes it comes with the plant as it comes from the uh, nursery or the greenhouse. And the objective is really keep it clean from the start. Oftentimes a little bit of chlorine bleach in with our product called Emerald Mist, which has a lot of micronutrients and phosphites to help fight these particular problems. And by mixing the two together and spraying a light dose on the leaves throughout the entire season, you can keep that movement of bacterial spot onto the leaves and spread down. Oftentimes when it's a bacterial spot problem, if you start seeing it, you'll need to spray every three to five days to keep it protected until you get through a lot of heavy splashing rain uh, that's going on in a particular storm event. But the reality of it is, if you can keep up the micronutrients in the plant and keep the plant healthy and keep it protected at the surface, and chlorine bleach actually has an eradicant effect. It'll kill the, the bacteria, if you will. And it sounds harsh for the plant, but in, in terms of actually having a spread, if it's getting bad, it's something that's probably necessary. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of some things you can do with your tomato plants in feeding them foliarly, feeding them from the soil with a product I said called Sulfacal. And if you have questions, always get a hold of us at www.gardenvigor.com.